Alright folks, how are we doing? It's Shabash, it's Orna again, and today I am taking you through the final few floors of uh, one of my best ever endless runs to date. Uh, build is Realm Shifter Tamer with Ashen Phoenix Pet, and we're, we're starting the video off on floor 399 against the Zerk Fallen Realm Shifter. I've managed to already take him down below half health, 870k HP. Thankfully we've managed to keep him stunned and uh, slowly taking it down. Also got a nice little block here from the Ashen Phoenix pet on its sortie. Goal is basically keep it stunned as much as possible. And luckily only using multi hits really, uh, so it didn't take any damage and we managed to get that 3% block chance on the sortie which potentially could have killed us. Also our attack button didn't really create leaving us with the maximum resurgence buff at 1 HP. So thankfully this wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Uh, if this was a fallen heretic or a fallen Beowulf they could have been a much bigger problem. So floor 400 then, we get an easy one shot against uh, a nerfed Arisen Hydra to smash through 400 for the first ever time. I try a tri cut against this mighty griffin to see if I can penetrate but I've got too much HP. We get blighted from the flare so pop cure all and uh, it's another safe attack button one shot. And then this Zerg Fallen Ifrit, yeah I was super scared actually with this one possibly uh, the worst encounter because I'm using earth alignment making us weak to fire. However thankfully it's not got any steadfast or mystic feather so it allows us to stick the sleep dart on him first turn, drops our health to a low enough level, two turns of sleep, one attack and we finish it off with it, an attack button crit nice and easy. These next couple of floors, couple of Baylor Kings I use blood shift a lot after critting, especially with the attack button at this point to reduce my HP as fast as possible. Uh, potentially should use Terror Strike 2 a little bit more than the attack button to gain less health per turn. On average, can't always rely on uh, on recharge. You never really know how much HP we're going to get back if we crit. So a Zerk, a Risen Typhon, pretty scary initially but thankfully our attack button and our Mystic Feather also helps us out really well. For this one we get a massive crit there to finish it off. Straight into a Zerk Chimera, another really scary encounter, especially at this floor. And unfortunately at the get-go we're not at minimum HP, we've got 3.5k three, three health here. So I feel I need to get that health down so we go with Realm Shift. And then, unfortunately, we have to deal with some Miasma spam for a couple of turns. Thankfully, we don't get any Toxic proc, allowing Curals to do the job. A couple of misses from both sides, but then I take a Resisted Flame 6, which to me makes no sense, because I should be weak to fire with the Earth Alignment. So unless it's back to working, where if you have Fire Resist on your gear, uh, that actually overrides the, the weakness from your alignment. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Eventually, our attack button crit. Uh, takes it down and we're left to uh, relieve the fight with about half a ward remaining. But we get a nice Lioness Warlock here, a couple of easy floors as well uh, which I can use to regenerate our ward. So yeah, regenerating ward, regenerating mana, getting our health back down, not really scared of these uh, non-Zerk mobs. Not going to deal too much damage to us. Yeah, I probably should have used Ward of Light on the, at least one of the Kelpies, but uh, we get the Hattie on 412. And Ward of Light, it still recovers Ward if you hit against immune enemies, as long as you actually hit them and don't miss. And uh, I end up tri cutting that Hattie. <laughs> My attack is still high enough for tri cut here against uh, non Zerk low defense mobs, apparently. So, floor 413 is Zerk Fallen Gaia, one of the, the worst mobs, to be honest, especially if you're not Earthen Faction. However, Earthen Alignment makes us immune to pretty much all of her attacks, especially after she uses Earth Affinity. So you can see even my, my Blight Strike gets zeroed 
unless we are pretty much on 1 HP. But due to our crits and stuff, it's going to be a really long fight. We're hardly doing any damage. So instead what I do is I go and equip no affinity, uh, removing the earth affinity from the weapon, allowing the attack button to actually deal damage. Fallen Gaia is of course immune to earth and damage. And remember the elemental skills doesn't apply to the penetration, it applies on the multiplier after penetration, so not too bothered about the damage, we can just keep using the attack button until she goes down. And I don't really bother trying to sleep or stun this uh, Zerk Fallen Gear now that Steadfast is actually working for the defending AI. Kind of just go all in on the attack button. A couple of misses but we take her down eventually. probably waste less turns just trying to attack rather than trying to proc, stun or sleep. So I'll basically go and put Earth Affinity back on here just for the, for the extra damage. You get 1.25 multiplier for Earth Infaction and a 1.5 multiplier with the Earth Alignment, so it's so really worth the extra damage. This gateway, not much of a problem, no scroll there. And uh, we're using blood shift to keep our health at low, at its lowest possible. And we get a couple of nice easy floors here. A couple of tier 9 mob. And then we run into the Lord's uh, low defense, but uh, hit really fucking hard. And then yeah, 419 we run into this dark Arisen Finfolk. A little bit scared but you can see it's glassy, not doing a lot of damage there. When we're on low health so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, actually, okay we take one tidal strike. Absolute monster hit but thankfully we, resi we resist that. And maybe I should have slept it or used the attack button straight away but uh, we get through it. I then, uh, on the next floor, we get this Lioness Knight so I can sleep him and then use Divine Bastion. I kind of had my eyes closed there as I was using Divine Bastion, but get through there. Zerk Fallen Ithra. Uh, not much of a problem. If that riposte had crit, that could have been a big problem, but get away with it. And then we get another Hattie. So again, another great floor for Realm Shifter to recover ward and mana and reduce our health to 1. Lore 423, Fallen Gaia, but thankfully not Zerk this time. So Blight Strike 3 does the job fairly easily. And that's a one shot with a crit. Arisen Fenrir next floor. I just want to try try cut again, and you can see with the with low health, we we actually get it working against the the Fenrir there. So the Zerk Mighty Mimic floor four two five. So first blight strike, not too bad, but the second one is zeroed out. Uh, but still crit, so we get more health from the recharge. Also take uh, awkward miasma there. So can have the blood shift and uh, 
dodge a couple of attacks, but uh, finally Flying Strike finishes it off. We then run into a non-Zerk Arisen Finfolk, and I uh, was pretty confident here, having just killed one, having just killed the Zerk one on uh, floor 419. Do get quite a high recharge roll there, unfortunately, which doesn't really bode well into our next floor, which is uh, the Zerk Nidhogg. So here's, here's where uh, this run ends, 883k health. I start off the fight with too much HP potentially, but already have Blood Shift up, so I Realm Shift instead. Get a couple of non-crit attacks in, also proccing blind, dodging two attacks. Then I get the DC proc from our pet, the Deific Channel. So I go attack button again. Massive crit, 561k hit, but uh, still not enough to, to finish it finish it off. And the recharge recovery is too high there, allowing Nidhogg to, to smash us with Lucy's Natural Ray 3 for 67k. So a couple of things I could have and perhaps should have done differently to, to take down that Nidhogg, which in hindsight were not too complicated or difficult basically I mean first one if I had not crit and uh, stayed at 1 HP with the attack button uh, probably would have helped but uh, yeah can't rely on that actual things I could have done in my control was potentially use Terra Strike 2 to reduce our healing compared to the recharge proc we were getting didn't test it so I don't know how much damage we would have done or how much health I would have regained likely would have stayed within kind of 1k HP which potentially would have been enough could have also swapped in a mighty griffin shield which would have halved that hit to 34k roughly and you can see even though I didn't have max ward I still would have uh, actually survived that hit there and then uh, would have had the health reduced down. So taken down by Zerk Nidhogg on uh, floor 427. Not a bad run, my best ever actually uh, reaching 427 and as far as I know currently nobody has actually gone further than this at least uh, in recent times. So I'm actually loving these Realm Shifter changes with the high tenacity, it's really strong and endless now. Although bearing in mind I've got some pretty decent gear here on this run and I was also Ascension level 16. Okay so thanks for watching folks, let me know your best endless run in the comments below. Also if you're enjoying these Realm Shifter changes as much as I am. I'm Shabash, we'll see you in the next one. A la prochaine, ciao!